Hey there, Josiah at Angle Tech here. I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on this Berkelbike Pro 11 project that I'm working on. Um, you can see it's motorized using a Wagner Fabrications bracket that was made here in Colorado Springs and an EBO motor from Denver. And that drives this crank set here, which then drives the rest of the bike. Um, you can see on the front of here, we have a hydraulic caliper in the front, a Tektro Riga Twin, which is going all the way back here to the smart brake in the rear. This is a brake that can be used for a, a variety of different uh, things. Um, it can be a reverse brake, it can be a parking brake, and it can just be your main brake if you want it to be. So there's a lot of applications of that. But the best part, on a hand cycle is you can see that the controller has no wires and so you don't have a bunch of uh, tangly cables in your face. Um, for the parking brake on this you can see that I've put a second parallel cable to the outside here and what's nice about the way this functions is if I hit the normal coaster brake you can see that end just sort of pops out of there to allow the cable to not scrunch up. Um, on this hub, you can see that these tug nuts are what keep the chain tensioned. And at the moment, I left them a little loose because I wanted to show how you want to tighten them, which is you want to make sure that it's flush with the edge right there. You can see that if I were to push it in, it can kind of get off center and maybe even go into the hub. So you want to make sure when you tighten these that they're just flush against the dropout like that. So up here are the controls. To turn the system on, you hold this power button for three seconds. You can see the battery indicator here, your assist level indicator here. Most of the time, low and medium are gonna be perfectly fine. This button is for walk assist. Um, you can also see that, that this right here is your throttle, and that will actually just push the whole thing forward. Um, right here, you have your 11 speed shifter. So this one goes towards the low and this trigger goes towards the high. Um, right here is your coaster brake. Um, and right hidden inside of this little cylinder here is where you replace the cable. So you actually have to undo this. You gotta make sure you don't lose your spring because it'll want to shoot off that way somewhere and uh, you'll just undo this little bolt out of there and then you can access your cable if you need a cable replacement um, so you can see right under here is where you're going to charge your smart brake right in there with a micro USB cable. Um, this is where you turn your battery on and off. This can stay on most of the time because it's not using energy unless your display is on and the cycle is running. Um, so if it's just sitting still, it's not using any energy. Um, to remove your battery, you're gonna going to turn this key that way. You want it to be off first. And it just slides off the back like that. Might need two hands to get it on most of the time, but make sure it's flush at the end. There's no gap here. And then you can come back here, lock your key on. Um, to charge the battery, 
you're gonna go to the other side here and that is your battery charging port right here under this little rubber flap that I just closed. Um, so you just have to flip that up and you can charge it from right there. Right here you can see under this little rubber flap there's actually a little USB charging port. So if you need to charge your phone or anything like that, you can actually run a cable off of this and then probably put your phone into this little zipper pouch up here as long as the cable is plenty long enough. Um, that's pretty much the whole thing. And thanks for watching.